being in care was like being in a little bubble. And when you leave care, you're out of that bubble in the world. So for far too many young people leaving care, they experience isolation and loneliness, they can lack confidence and skills, and the thoughts and feelings that they have based on quite a disrupted education and family life can hinder their progress. The Innovation Programme has committed £5 million to fund three social impact bonds, which are outcome-based programmes, to test and trial new innovative ways to help these young people reach their full potential. So it's a four-year funded contract. Each young person will have a key worker that they are allocated and they work consistently with them over that four years, allowing that relationship to really build and develop and provide consistency for that young person. We help them with the job searching, um, their motivation, uh, just basically uh, being positive role models. One of the really positive tools um, I found with working with South Gloucestershire is um, we have a weekly drop-in. They come in, we help make food, um, so they get fed, and it's just an opportunity for them to sort of mix um, with other sort of care leavers and obviously support staff are there. In 2018, nearly 40% of care leavers aged between 19 and 21 were not engaged in education, employment or training. This is three times higher than their peers. Only 6% of care leavers go on to university, while 40% of their peers do so. Care leavers are also overrepresented in the prison population and in homeless communities. This clearly is not good enough. To address those challenges, we're providing a better wraparound support. So we're looking at all the different barriers that are stopping care leavers from entering and sustaining education, employment and training. So better access to mental health support, better access to substance misuse services, help with housing and building relationships with these young people over a longer period of time. We've decided to shape our service around something called acceptance and commitment therapy. So the types of activities that they'll be doing in, over that time will vary, but whatever the activity is, each of those conversations will be around supporting that young person to identify the things that are most important to them, their values, and choosing their behaviours based on their values. We meet up in a coffee shop and we talk about career progression. We have done work on my CV and we've been to um, a job fair for apprenticeships. I now have a job with the council in an apprenticeship. And she was in fact up against 150 other contenders, so I am incredibly proud of her. She's done so well. I will be a coach for a period of four years, and um, so whether it's linked to the job, life in general or housing, I will always be on hand to support Ellie and work through things with her. We know there's fantastic work already going on across the west of England in local authority leaving care teams. We know colleges want to help and we know that there are businesses out there that would love to make a difference for young people leaving care. What the programme does is bring all of those stakeholders together alongside Bridges with a real common endeavour towards achieving better outcomes. What's great about working on an outcomes based contract is that we have the flexibility to be creative. What we can actually do is, is look at the outcomes that we want to achieve and be creative in how we get there and really tailor our approach around each young person. And we've worked on a previous SID before and achieved really good outcomes so we know that this method works and we know that it can be really successful for young people. So I've been working with Kurt since the start of the project. Since the beginning his confidence has grown, he's a lot more positive about the future, he's making lots of friends and he can see a lot more opportunities. Before Adam, I was a bit scared, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with my life? But with Adam, he's sort of modelling me to get a better life, pushing me in the right direction and actually enjoy life. 